So the Summer Game Fest just kicked off about two days ago, and we got to see the first full gameplay trailer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that's releasing on October 28th. Today we're going to be reacting to the trailer as I haven't seen it yet. The only time I got to watch it was at work on my phone with no volume. It looks cool so far, but I'm ready to watch it with sound um, and on my computer monitor and just enjoy the experience with you guys. Um, if you guys are excited for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, please smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing here if you guys want to stay up to date on all the latest gaming news uh, we cover here on the channel, as well as just turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload. Um, without further ado, let's get right into this trailer. All right, here we go. So the mission is called Dark Water and it's on the Atlantic coastline. Wait, what was that date? Hold on. When is this game set? 20, so this game is set the day it comes out. Now this is pre-alpha footage from what I've heard so far, so that's also very interesting to hear. So I'm interested to see what it looks like on like the new consoles and PC and all that stuff. So far, I mean the visuals are insane. So it's like the same grapples they use in Warzone. Oh my god. Look at like just the water effects. Like on like the hands, like it actually like I don't know. The way they make this stuff looks now like nowadays is insane. Oh. oh. What gun is that? Like the vector? I don't even know that I've never seen that one before. Sound effects are cool. It's cool, like, how, like, different, like, the when the bullets are shooting, like, in different rooms and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude, the gun sounds insane. Oh. It's so like it's so cool like how tactical they set up these modern warfare games like compared to like you know something like Vanguard where you're flying around the map this oh shit I don't know this the way they make these games it's like so crazy how Call of Duty makes their games man like there really is no first person shooter on the market that really competes with what they're doing over there oh my god Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Even, like, the blood effects just look better from even 2019, and 2019 was, like, fantastic looking. I'm interested to, like, I want to know, like, because they don't have the HUD, so you don't know what the loadout is and stuff like that. So it's like... Oh, even the, like, oh my god, the thunder effects, like, just the sounds of the thunder, everything. See, I want to know what the guns are, but they're not revealing that. It's like some sort of like S, or what's it? I don't even know. Like some kind of like DMR right here or something. Oh my god. The graphics are just, I mean, the one that's like the one thing I can't get over is the graphics are insane. Oh, well, this man needs to work on his aim. What the heck? What are you doing over there? It's always fun watching the devs play. Little slide cancel action. The reload animation looks cool. Dude, the explosions look awesome. Look at that, like all the particle effects. The sounds of the silencers are what's really impressing me right now. They sound so cool. And like the particle effects on the explosions are really nice. I like this scope right here. Out the thud of the guns, like it's gonna be so cool to use on like that dual sense controller and really feel it. I don't know, this looks really immersive too. Now look, look, look. 
I know they're not using the auto attack sprint, but the w I've noticed earlier in the gunfight too, when they are sprinting, it looks a lot clunkier than what like you're doing in Call of Duty Vanguard, which is really cool to see because I'm not too big a fan of like the Vanguard movement where you're flying around the map in two seconds. So, I mean, if they slow down the like the the running movement and maybe nerf auto attack sprint for a little bit, that'd be awesome. All right, we're getting back on the boat. I'm chasing after some sort of missile or something. It's so cool, like, the details in the gear they use. This is crazy. The ramp. The heck. Oh. So they just crashed it onto the boat. A little hazy. I'm just so excited for that. I think this is really going to revive the franchise for me. Because I was not a fan of Vanguard. So is this like Shipment? Or what's that map from uh, mo like the first Modern Warfare in 2007? Uh, 9? What? I don't remember what it was. That's crazy. That's crazy, the things all moving on the uh, the boat. They've never really had stuff like that before. Oh, we got some shotgun action. Oh. You can just feel the, th like, just listening to it in the Astros, you can feel the thud of that gun. Okay, so they have, they brought back the, the corner peeking, or whatever, the wall peeking. Which is cool. That's a feature I kind of like. I mean, you don't really use it too much in multiplayer. I mean, unless you're playing like a big, like a big ground war map or something. But like, in the 6v6, you're not really going to be mounting too much. It's too fast paced. They even got the enemies jumping on the barrels and <laughs> crates now. So cool. So from what it sounded like when the, like the character from the game called out, he said, don't get caught between the crates. I wonder if that's like an obstructive thing. Like if you get caught between them, it can like end the mission for you. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, he just ran up on him. Oh, jeez. I'm interested to know if this game is going to have like a gore effect or like a, like when they have like the dismemberment stuff. It's kind of weird to like wonder, but oh my God. It's cool too, like when they go into the separate buildings versus outside, the difference in the sound of the the shot. It's like a deeper, th more thudded shot when they're indoors versus on the outside. The sound like spreads a little bit more. Oh, there's Ghost. He looks so cool in this. Oh my god. Oh, uh, then this is, I think, the regular trailer. I wonder if they're gonna bring back the, uh, the, the showing the night vision goggles. I wonder if they're gonna bring back that, like, nighttime mode. Pre order now and get early access to the open beta. So that game looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm so excited for it. October 28th, it can't come soon enough. I'm really interested to see what they bring back from like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Like I said, like with the nighttime mode and you know the different weapons. Um, I hope they scale down a little bit of the weapon building because having 300 plus options for one gun is just a little bit too much and a little too like overwhelming. I think if they bring back like the little pick 10 system or maybe just like a three attachment limit or something, um, even or just like in competitive mode, scale it down or something. Uh, I think that'd be a really good change for me. Now, the thing I did like point out in the trailer reaction that like really has me interested is if they slowed the movement down. Because in the moment in that gunfight on the first like um, like plant they were on, uh, when the character was running right after the slide, it really looked like they slowed down the sprinting. Um, they weren't utilizing auto attack sprint in the uh, the trailer, so that's kind of interesting because auto attack sprint's been in the past three games. So uh, 
I'm interested to see if they remove that. I know a lot of people don't like it. And then just in general, even just the sprinting looked very scaled down and slowed down a little bit, which is something I'd really like. Um, I think like Vanguard plays a little too fast. Um, interested to see what the TTK looks like, all that stuff. I'm just so excited for this game. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Um, what's one thing from the trailer you guys really are looking forward to? Is there anything you saw in there? Um, that just really has you excited uh leave your comments down below uh that's gonna do it for today though i hope you guys did enjoy the video uh, if you did please be sure to smash the thumbs up button as it helps the uh video grow in the channel uh turn on the notification bell and hit the subscribe button if you guys want to stay up to date on all the latest gaming news we cover here on the channel uh have a fabulous weekend and we'll see you guys in the next video